guys. I'm just so freaking happy about playing video games. I don't know. It's so fun. I love... I just got done answering all your guys' comments. Like, I'm caught up from when I was gone. And I just freaking love talking to you guys and sharing stories and... I don't know. Everything. I love everything about it. This is so fun. I'm so glad I did this and that people were so nice to me when I played, when I uploaded Mass Effect 3 forever ago, despite it having a lot of technical issues, that people were very kind and just encouraged me to keep going, so I appreciate it. Thank you guys. It's great. This is so fun. Wouldn't trade it for anything. Um, anyway. Stop being all mushy gushy. I should probably sell things, but this guy can't, right? Oh, but we're gonna go see Triss now. Yep, that was what we're gonna do. We're gonna go see Triss. Powers of Novigrad, that doesn't sound like a nice thing. Uh, that's not good. Is that like where the eternal fire? Yeah, it's where the eternal fire is. Whew, I'm excited to go to a big city. Like, I mean, I thought Oxenfurt was big, but I, it, and I looked at a map, like, I looked at the map recently, and I was like, oh, man, like, it's not as big as I thought it was. But it's still big, right? Just on the map, it's like, no, it's pretty big, I guess. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I kind of actually, to be honest, I kind of want to run up the coast and, like, clear the area out a little bit. Uh, but no. Okay, we'll do that later. I need- I, I don't want to, like, start seeing Triss, like, halfway through the episode. Like, I want to be able to be like, this is the episode where we go see Triss. <laughs> and, like, put it in the title and not have to worry about it. But it is gonna take us a while to get to her. Not sure. I kind of wish- could you- Wait, uh... Zoom. Ah, okay, you can! Ah, okay, I was like, I wish you could zoom out and, like, see everything. Like, ah, sweet. Like, where the fast travel points are, so I'm not like, uh, where am I again? Uh, you know? Okay, so it looks like the, I'm pretty sure, yeah, the border post is the closest we can get at this point. Perfect! This is perfect! This is exactly what I wanted. Look at how many question marks there are. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. It gives me anxiety to leave so many question marks. Dude, Assassin's Creed is the worst for freaking little side quests. It's the worst. Like, you go into an area, I, when I played, I, I haven't finished Assassin's Creed 1 yet. I started it a couple times. But I like finished the first area like completely. In the second area, I was like, I, I can't, uh, uh, and I tried. Defeatism and desertion. Me? Spreads disease, defeatism and desertion? Aren't you just proud of your alliteration? One, one of those was biological, and the other two were more mental, though, so, uh... I don't see how people would be deserting because of me. I could see maybe you think I'd spread disease, but, like, for, you know, for being ignorant and everything, but... I don't! And... And that's just rude. I don't see if people see me and they're like, Oh my gosh, she's beautiful, I'm gonna desert the army then you should probably work on how to recruit people. Like shiny off in the distance. Oh, there's no door? There's no door into this house! <gasps> oh no, oh no. Jump, oh jump, okay ah. good. Hi, whoa, don't mind me. I guess. We'll get Roach. Come along. Come and see ya. Go, just go. It takes him a while to get going. He's like, let me just maybe think about moving. I'm like, no, just, just go now. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Do you see the city in the distance? Holy crap. I mean, I remember one time when I was younger, driving to Las Vegas, like, be, you know, in the car, and you were going, and you look down on this city from, like, the, like, mountain we were coming down from, and... Slow now. And it was, it was insane. 
That's it, Roach. Just seeing it all spread out at night, like, reminded me of that scene in E.T. I used to watch E.T. all the time. It always kind of freaked me out, but I liked it. Um, where, like, they're up, you know, in that area where they find him and everything, and there's just this big city. Like, you see the big city lights just spread out. Um, it's just, it's like, it's insane. So it's just like a little stable. Like a little, uh... Here, a shelter, maybe? I, it's, it's, it is, oh, what's this plant? Take this it new. easy. Maybe. Maybe it's just a young one. Well, rib leaf. I've had rib leaf before. Um. I'm just kind of trying to think if I want to actually... I might want to do this during the daytime. Uh, can, like, seven? Okay. Nice. I don't know, maybe showing up at night would have been cool too, but... Like, hello, Triss, my old friend, you know, as I come to you in the night. I don't know, I didn't really like the way Triss was portrayed in the books. Same as the last. Poison it. Fit food goes to the troops. We're left with rotten fish. True, generally. But not with these blokes. Take a tour of the taverns in Arbonside. You'll see what's poisoning them. The ladies. The harbor winches. Um. Hey there. Trying to get an kind of an idea. Oh, is that a blow ball? I think I needed a blow ball at one point. Yeah, I ended up buying one, and I was like, "That's a pretty common plant." Poor townsperson. That's different. Poor townswoman. Usually, it's just like peasant or something. Townswoman's a little different. Look at these houses. They're so freaking cute. Oh, they're so cute. Like the flowers and everything. Oh. Oh, I think I need that. Don't mind me. No, I don't need that. I feel like whistling too. Okay. Ah! Oh god. Hi. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. I've never gotten in trouble for stealing. Do you actually get in trouble if, like, if a guard's wa except for that one time that's locked? That guy, it, like, warns you. Woof! Hell, what? Sprightliest heifer? Oh, oh my gosh, hey, it's a halfling. Oh, and it's na it's labeled a halfling. Or it labeled him a halfling, is what I was saying. Hello? Burr. Are you like a... I thought it wasn't very safe. This is the first time we've seen not, not humans. Look at this. Oh, and she got like a creak in her back. Oh, sorry. Shady individual. What? Shady individual. You're shady. Look at you walking around in a cloak, shady individual. What the heck? Same set as all oh. You ever get new wares? Are you someone I can. <laughs> I'm knackered. Knackered? What? Hmm? I can't talk to you. Or you. You guys don't have like little bags over your, over your heads. One for the price of two. Well, let's go poke the notice board. I kind of like to get a good idea. I can't imagine where she gets the corn to feed that band of cats. Oh, dearie, you'd be surprised. Our cat lover once led a band of Edinburghs. They raided elven tombs. I'm certain she has heaps of treasure hidden about. Hmm, who are they talking about? Not Triss. Best tombstones in town, shoot. 
Carpenter, Stonecutter, Urn, Spinner. Nice. Granite and marble tombstones, markers of gray of markers carved of wood and forged of metal. Accessories made of both granite and clay, including vases, basins, lanterns, and urns. Quick and reliable. Order in advance around major feast days and after paddles. Okay. Actually, I've been hanging out in cemeteries more lately, just for Pokemon Go, you know? And, uh, um, I've found several cool things that, like, uh, like, you're respectful when you go, you know, and I've been, I was like, actually, uh, I really want a lantern. I want some lantern hanging, hanging next to my tombstone, my, my gravestone or whatever. Missed connection. Tall, dark stranger. To the tall stranger with raven hair and emerald eyes who smiled so charmingly at me while buying flounder at the fish market last week. Meet me at the butcher's yard, please. I'll be waiting there every morning for the next seven days. Bewitched. Ha <laughs> ha. Raven hair and emerald eyes. I don't know who that was. Delicious homemade cakes. Okay. Devil in the woods. Dear Witcher, sir, if any be present hereabouts, that is. I have a hunch. Eh, what am I saying? I'm dead certain that the woods I was lucky enough to gain possession of, or at least I felt lucky about that until recently, that these woods are a home to a cruel evil, a devil of some kind. I hired a gang of dwarf and loggers not long back to harvest lumber. Strapping lads, every last one having cut down many of my tree in his life, so you can imagine my surprise when said loggers disappeared, all save one, and he claimed to have seen a monster. I've marked out a bounty for freeing my stretch of woods from all foul creatures and dearly hope that, uh, that soon I will have the pleasure of giving it to someone. Sincerely, Bran Hotched. Nice. Contract, the white lady. Good people, take pity, pity on the poor lot of us peasants. The fields outside of town are haunted by a wraith, somewhat like a maid in appearance, though her visage is ghastly and sullied. You cannot walk with intense bands of the evil and hope to escape alive. It's thus keeping us from harvesting our crops, meaning famine and misery await us nothing changes. So we plan to hand all our remaining gold to whoever drives this white lady off or kills her. P.S. Since I've got many an inquiry into the matter already, I'll let it be known right here. I'm not interested in remarrying. Okay. Gwent lovers, no. If I don't pick that up, it's gonna keep. It's gonna. I don't. I don't care. We'll pretend I picked it up. I just don't want that in my quest. Just fine. Eh, I don't want the yellow thing marking up my map either. Interesting. Visit Tris in here. I'm interested about that contracts. Probably some high, more high level contract. Shady! More shadies! Yes. Hey! Hey! Alright. Halfling. Hello, Halfling. Good day. Good day. There's a bunch of shady individuals everywhere. Oh, so he was being racist. Okay. I was like, racial? That doesn't make it. Actually, doesn't really make any sense, but you know, whatever. It does, in a crude, uh, crass way, I guess, but what? Oh. There's a smuggler's cache out there. I could just go swimming for it? Hello, long ears. You paid the tax. For tax. being an elf? On what? Oh, On man. Swipe. But I uh... know I'm talking about you. So pay. Go back and write in the furrows. Jeez Louise. I knew it. I was like, yeah, this is probably not a good place to be. Never let your kind in, no grand proper. Well, too bad you're not in charge, huh? So the outer layer is usually more squalid. Look awfully suspicious to me, trap. You friggin' look suspicious. It's oh you can be safe. You're an eternal fire person. Big city. Eternal fire, why me? Eternal fire. I like that's funny. A strumpet! How about that? <laughs> I love what strump like strumpet. Like you don't see that very often. Oh, you just don't say that word very often. Okay, here's the eternal fire. Nice little shrine they've got for it. This blacksmith over hey, here has something for me? No. Said I'd come to the wrong place. But he said we don't have his name. Jonas swore it was a Tory's head. And with a warranty. With a warranty? Of swords and dumplings? What? 
Wait, what? Tactic, what? Why did that give me a quest? Oh wait, it is, it's the, it's the quest, it's where the guy is in the shop. Alright, first we gotta go talk to Triss, though. Of swords and dumplings, let's see, okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it did. Freaking, it's so funny to know that, like, this is Dandelion saying it. It's kind of like in Dragon Age 2 where Varric is the narrator of the story and he exaggerates it or, or you know, uh, leaves out details as he sees fit. You don't really know if he's doing it or not. It's kind of interesting. It's like, usually there is a sort of a narrator in a game anyway, because obviously it's like, the game goes a certain way because it was kind of, you know, created a certain way. There's only so many options that you have, which is fine, because there's no way to create it. There's no way to create something that could just be everything, you know? It looks good to have some, you know, restrictions. Otherwise, everything just is like, blah, it goes to crap, you know? Nothing makes sense, but, okay. Powers of Novigrad. Oh, there's a merchant over there. Officer, taking a rest for witch hunting. Greetings, Your a Honor. Thief. Good to see you again. Bring us the usual. Of course. Keep this up, you'll earn yourself a preferential rate. Good, I enjoy shagging the freaks. The freaks of the witches are bad. What? Ooh. What? What do you want? Is this like, no, you can't go in? Okay, well there was, um, in the other town there was something about those like whoresome people, like was, what was that? Is this like a covered market in here? Kinda seems like it is. It reminds me a lot of Assassin's Creed. And there's one of those guys that if you bump into Assassin's Creed, they, you don't even have to bump them, you just gotta walk near them and they're like, and they're like, burr, and they drop their stuff and then they follow you around and they're really freaking annoying and you're like, don't talk to me. Oh, well, that was a notice. Right? Oh, no, ignite. Okay. Oh, I slowed down to a walk. Okay. Oh, wait. Nope. Well, if I could give people money, I might, but... Give us a crown. I would if I could, man. Okay, but this way. Dialogue, any other. Like, oh, it's a baby! They don't even look bad. Like, the babies in this game look, like, surprisingly good. Alright, so this is a little bit of the wealthier area, maybe? No, we're still on the edge. Woo! Eee! <laughs> Yucky. Blah. What? Alright. All right. You got a you got a red cloak on. Ew. Why is everybody sick? Oh, it's the fisherman's place. Oh, that water is so pretty. Merchant. Why can't I talk to these merchants? Are these ones these ones are just like for show. Wow, this is cool. I feel like I'm like, I, I'm legitimately walking through like a market. And there's like a little show over there. I would if I could buy stuff from you, but I can't. This one I can talk to, yes? Nope, not you. Oh, this one, these specific ones that all dress the same. Welcome, welcome. Look to me like a Gwent aficionado, aficionado. I can't say it, aficionado. Nope, I'm not saying it right, but I know what the word is. What have you got there? <laughs> oh, sometimes this this game is just, it's just funny. Nope, nope, nope. Tell you, tell you. Yo. Picked up a lot of swords. Making that room perfect. Um. Oh, 
It must have been out of Ripley then, I think. Or maybe it's just, you know, like, hey, you just picked it up or something. Cool, then Al Ghouls, it's 136 coins! But, but, I already have information about ghouls and owl ghouls. Oh, I gotta remember that these shops, like, have really cool things sometimes. Have you noticed that I haven't played Gwent, like, at all, since the beginning? It's just one of those, it's just... I'm, I am glad that there are people who like it as much as they do, but I just... It's not something... No, another one! Interesting place. Ah, ah, I love it. You can like hear him like walking through the water. I love it. Um, annual interest rate seven hundred percent. Yikes! Uh -huh, the city council of the free city of Novograd. <laughs> yep. Trans Trans family did not want anybody coming to bother them. Yep, because he was a tax collector. A Tuesday next, a deliverer of the latest Kaidwani pros will be made to the warehouse. Only bulk buyers welcome. A next next Tuesday next, a delivery, not a deliver. Contract! Hello, followers of the flame! In recent days, several officers of the Temple Guard have been ravished to death in the most bestial manner. An investigation has been launched to look into the matter. The perpetrator shall soon feel the iron group of justice. Mm-hmm. Reward. Any mind aiding or abetting. Win. Uh... Okay. Um, I noticed before, I think in Oxenfurt there was a, like, a murderer going around or something. It said. And I was Come like, on, nothing. ain't nothing. Contract, deadly delights. Oh, there's a tavern over there. Supper, I never Even in the morning? A seaman, okay. Look at the way they walk. They're like swaggering like, hey, uh. Whitey, <laughs> why'd your hair go white? Why, why are you walking like that, you little sea monster? Well, that was stupid. I was gonna say land lover, but that not how. <laughs> they're swaggering because they're like, oh, you landlubbers don't know anything about being on the sea. I'm like, yeah, well, I get it. There's a certain, you know, it's funny. Better burn a monster in the witch in the marketplace. Let's do it. the execution. No concern for that drunkard. I need less respect. Hemelfart's a fisticist. Speak softly. Unless they hear you and build another pyre. And you still call this a free city? Uh huh. Governance by terror. That's what we've to expect now. Thing Your mouth isn't moving. We'll see right Captured and displayed in the sideshow of the circus. Well, it could be quite profitable. Hmm? Oh! Cleaver's henchman. <laughs> Huh? Where's Cleaver? Life, you gotta take risks and not get fat. What is it, Grey Boy? Looking for adventure? Oh, there's so many different variations of my name. You guys don't sound good. I need to go visit Tris. A trial for a man. How are we to fight a pestilence that changes form? None can be certain of his father, brother, or bride. Is that Triss? That was red hair. No evil can survive the holy fire. Nothing the can survive fire. fire. Burns, burns, and cleanses. Oh, she died much quicker than she would have. 
behold the flame of grace and mercy! Special fire for you, freak. Nice, slow burning. You'll beg for mercy in all the voices known to you. Like the others of your speech. What? No, no, I want to to live like you. Help me. He's a changeling. Son, please! Doppler. Gerald. Oh, my gosh. Sure, hope Doo Doo hasn't met the same thing. Yeah. No, I was just thinking that same thing. Why the stench is entirely different. Not human. Your husband seeks other employment. Why? Is he unhappy with the point? Sit. So hilarious when high and mighty cultures decide that this is the way to go about enacting justice. That like made my heart hurt. I don't... I think Dudu is in one of the books. He's a changeling that uh, runs into that, that Dandelion and Geralt run into. I'm gonna kill you. In those days, rampant persecution and the smoke of a hundred pyres choked no grass air. The grim climate provided cover in which a many great bloody but many a great many bloody butchers built comfortable nests for themselves. Drummed up conspiracies, mass arrests, and show trials, resulting in group executions were the favorite building blocks. Caleb Minge, the fanatically ambitious commander of the Church of Eternal Fires Temple Guard, was one such opportunist. His moment of triumph coming when he unmasked his superior. Oh, that was him. Oh, I, I thought I recognized that name. Chappelle. Oh, no. Because he was a changeling and he became, like, the original Chappelle died. And I guess the, I guess he's a Doppler. And so he became the, the leader. And he was trying to make, you know, like, he wasn't being over the top or anything, but he was trying to make lives, life a little bit easier for anybody in the city, elves, hum non-humans, humans, like, he was, oh, man, I was just thinking, I was like, oh, well, it's a good thing he's in charge, hopefully things won't get too bad, but, Geralt and I had long known that Chappelle, Chancellor of the Security, had died years ago and been replaced as a Doppler masquerading under his name. We didn't breathe a word of this to anyone, of course, for the change was decidedly in everyone's best interest. The Doppler had proved a reasonable creature deprived of the true Chappelle's cruelty, and under his watch, life in the city had much improved. Sadly, the Chancellor's conciliatory style must have raised suspicions as a wave of, wave of terror and persecution began to swell over Novigrad. The Doppler was found out, arrested, and burned at the stake for the greater glory of the eternal fire. Uh, oh, okay, I, I didn't, uh, so, he, so he knew this girl. He could not prevent someone's death on more than one occasion. In fact, you might say he'd grown across from that particular form of agony. It is another thing altogether, however, to stand powerless, to, powerless and watch the unjust, cruel execution of acquaintance for whom one has developed a fondness. Such was his lot regard, as regards Felicia Corey, a young sorceress whom Gerald had met while chasing the Kingslayer, Letho. Though Gerald had not gotten to know her deeply, he had nonetheless taken a liking to his former pupil of Philip oh, Philippia Elhart, who had seemed to him a pleasant and enterprising young woman. Yet she was a wielder of magic and as such met her end on a pyre. I need to go talk to Triss. We're starting to see noble women now. <gasps> <gasps> what have they done? Oh, she was in a rush. She's been hey, her house has been ransacked. We're looting here. Want you gone by the time I count to three. One. Hear that? Two. Ooh, look he thinks he can scare us off. Three. Mm-hmm. 
I just punched you once. I'm not a thief. Looking for the sorceress who lived here. Most likely I did in some rat trap with the rest of them. Who's she hiding from? Temple Gorge cracking down. All mages are fair game. Yeah, they round them up like rats. Someone's gotta know more. I'd look for her in a putrid grove. Mm. Putrid Grove. Interesting, as names go. A hive of scum and freakery if there ever was one. No decent folk show their hides there. That why like you think you? I should look for my friend there? Oh, I meant no offense. <laughs> Putrid Grove. Where is it? I wouldn't know. Rumor has it. It's a well, place then why did you tell me to go look there? there? You'd fit in well there. So they're not just Maybe. doing mages. Thing is, gotta know how to get there. They say you gotta get there through the sewers, but you gotta enter them outside of town. If you know where exactly, though, I'll ask just use a my beggar. Pictures. Or spot yourself a thief, follow him. Or shady people. Got to pay oh. To the king of beggars. Word is, they do it in the grove. Mean to say the local beggars have a king, crown, scepter, I've read stories like that. that. Wouldn't scoff, mate. King of Beggars, it's a moniker. Yeah, for a man who everyone in Novigrad respects deeply. And watch yourself. Menger himself don't even go Menger? to the grove. Sub won't call for me. Wonder why. Can I kill you now and just get it over with? Temple God. What's up? I'm gonna kill you now. Thieving vermin to the confession chamber. What, oh, but sir, what's the offense? This is some sorcerer's pity shop. Think that gives you the right to steal her property? Blackwall! Sorcerers, majors of all types, are outlaws. But by law, the temple guard takes possession of their belongings. And the rule of law I'm still sure that's holds Blackwall. in Novigrad. Might not be, but... I'm gonna kill you now. You know a bat can sniff Whoa. out a moth a mile away. That's nice. It's about their here. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> right. Let's just. Yeah, no. What's your point? I ask the questions, Witcher. No. And as bats sense moths, so I sense freaks. This is. And start by warning them. Novigrad's no place for your kind. Okay, sorry about that interruption, but this guy is not just practicing like a kill, like, like a genocide, like right, like killing mages. He's practicing eugenics. He is it, the fact that they keep saying words like freaks and stuff, like, and the fact that that guy was like, "Oh, you can't strike a three breast or whatever." Like, it, it, it's in it's in various stories in various ways. Uh, most probably explicitly the Nazi regime, um, but. It's in like, you know, some fantasy tales and in real life tales where like, you know, you're, you basically are trying to create the perfect race or the perfect place by throwing out anybody who's too old or it's got a different colored eye or it, like one color different than anything that's different from what you, der what you decide, what you term as normal, you kill them. This guy is practicing hardcore eugenics, and it's oh god, that's not good. Uh. Heard Novigrad was no place for mages. Now you're telling me it's no place for witchers. So who's it a place for? Righteous folk professing the one true faith in the eternal fire. Nothing I can do to you now, but just know that I know you're here. One misstep, one error. You'll make a mistake. And then I can kill you. And it'll be I'll good. I'll be the first to learn of it. And when I do, it'll be standard procedure. Like for every man. I wonder how this guy and the mage hunter we know there. would get along. Be seeing you. I do practice magic. <laughs> I could blow your fire blow fire on your face right now. <laughs> 